What's been very exciting to me in the past three and a half, four years of, uh, of observing magnetic resonance stimulation in my clinic and with, uh, with patients who've taken this technology home is the power of this technology to transform the function of the cell. It's been very exciting. Um, just seeing changed lives through the power of cellular resonance. The IMRS signals all 75 trillion cells of the body at the same time at the speed of light at the frequency of health. It's amazing. Everybody knows that you need water for good health. The better the water, the better your health. We need food. We need oxygen, preferably pure and clean oxygen. But most people don't know that in order to live and for life to be possible on this planet, we need the Earth's magnetic field. The IMRS provides that electromagnetism. The human body is driven by the nervous system. The nervous system conducts electrical current. Around every electrical current there is a magnetic field. That's Ampere's law. It's an incontrovertible law of nature. If you have an electrical current, you have electromagnetism. Therefore, electromagnetism is the fundamental native energy of the human body. And here we are able to signal all of those cells with, uh, with that power of nature. The Earth's magnetic field ranges between 7 and 12 hertz. The IMRS is specifically designed to replace that missing energy. Why is it missing? It's missing because we go to and from work in a car, surrounded by metal with an iron frame on concrete. We get to our office or we get to our, our, our meeting or our, our coffee clatch or whatever we're doing and we're surrounded by building material. We're surrounded by concrete. We do not have access to the Earth's magnetic field. Long gone are the days when we were roaming around in the Earth's magnetic field, hunting and gathering and being in nature. That's why the, the beach feels so good. That's why laying down on a picnic blanket for more than five minutes feels so awesome. It's because we're in the field. People love to hike, they love to fly fish, they love to be out in nature. And the, the hidden reason why that most people don't know about is because of the Earth's magnetic field. Again, the IMRS is designed to reproduce that and to resupply something that's vital to life and wellness and health, but it's missing. A new feature of the IMRS is called IMOR technology, interactive monitoring and regulation. And what that means is we have the ability with the IMRS to monitor heart rate variability. Not just heart rate, but heart rate variability. This parameter of human health is one of the major predictors of early or sudden cardiac death. The IMRS, by talking to the body, by monitoring your heart rate variability, actually dynamically resets itself so that you have the ability then to, using these electromagnetic fields, to enhance your heart rate variability. Every session you do in home has the ability to, to maximize your body's ability to be well and to stay well and to live a longer life. The IMRS has built-in intelligence in preset protocols that allow you to just simply dial in a setting based on a particular result that you desire. It's all been automatically programmed. This is the easiest, most simple uh, wellness device of its kind in the world. You just punch in a number and based on your preference and what your desired result is, uh, those settings have already been pre-programmed so that you have, uh, you have wellness literally at your fingertips in one or two presses of a button. Just this morning I was reading a study, a randomized clinical trial that was performed using magnetic resonance stimulation technology on a group of people, 56 patients actually had fibromyalgia. And on five out of six scales of wellness, pain relief, and bodily function, uh, this randomized controlled clinical trial showed that Magnetic resonance stimulation was a very, very viable tool in enhancing the life, the quality of life, and uh, the, the pain measures, etc., in this group of people. Uh, in fact, fibromyalgia is known by some parts of Japan not as fibromyalgia, but as magnetic field deficiency syndrome. So think about that. It's, it's people who are actually recognizing a lack of exposure of the human body to the Earth's natural. Uh, 
um, wellness producing magnetic field. And what we're doing is we're actually resupplying that. And, and in this particular group of people who suffer daily, who are, who are often using a chemical solution for a, an electromagnetic problem, by resupplying this energy, we're able to observe, even in a scientific study, a well-controlled study, massive major changes, significant changes. The interesting thing to me about this study is that they only used the MRS twice a day for three weeks. The study went on for a total of 12 weeks, and they remeasured the results of people even 12 weeks later, nine weeks after they had stopped using the MRS 2000. And the IMRS is, is the same technology. These people used this technology and had a long-lasting benefit even after they stopped using this technology. So it's an amazing study, wonderful. As, as Wolfgang mentioned, electrosmog is now a major pollutant in our environment. 150 years ago, it didn't exist. Now, electrosmog is actually giving birth to a new category of syndromes called electromagnetic hypersensitivity syndrome. Right now, 3% of everyone in the North American population suffers with this to a severe degree. 37% of people suffer this to a mild degree. And by 2017, it's estimated that 50% that of our population will suffer symptoms directly related to exposure to high-frequency man-made electromagnetic fields. So just as there are good bacteria and bad bacteria, good bacteria lining our intestines and helping us to digest and function properly, there is such a thing as good electromagnetism and bad electromagnetism. Who had a cell phone 15, 20 years ago? Now we give cell phones to our children for their eighth birthday. They're texting over and over. The average female texts over 4,000 times a month in this country, studies have shown. And, and the rate of illness and impaired learning ability due to exposure to high frequency Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and uh, high power electro, electrical lines, the evidence is mounting. Even in the August 2009 issue of Pathophysiology, there's PhD after PhD after PhD reporting that, that man-made high-frequency electrosmog is producing uh, illness in our society. The MRS is the antidote, or can be the antidote. Again, it's not uh, a therapeutic device, it's a wellness device. It's not designed to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease or illness, but it's actually resupplying the body with the, the energy it needs at the precise frequencies and intensities it needs to help combat this ubiquitous, unseen, unsmelled form of pollution that we call electrosmog.